What does it take to stand strong in the face of adversity as Salahuddin did? In the grand tapestry of history, few figures shine as brightly as Salahuddin, the legendary Muslim leader who led his forces to victory in the Battle of Jerusalem. His story is not just one of military triumph, but of resilience, strength and an unyielding spirit in the face of immense challenges. Salahuddin's life is a testament to the power of perseverance. Born into a world marked by turmoil and strife, he rose to become a beacon of hope for his people, overcoming seemingly insurmountable odds to etch his name into the annals of history. But what was the source of Salahuddin's strength? His determination was not born in the heat of battle, but cultivated through years of hardship and struggle. He was a man who understood that true strength is not just about physical prowess, but also about mental fortitude the ability to endure when the world seems against you. His leadership style was characterized by a steadfast commitment to his cause and a deep-seated belief in the power of unity. Salahuddin knew that to be strong, one must stand together. It was this belief that guided him as he rallied his troops, leading them to victory against overwhelming odds. Yet Salahuddin's strength was not just about his ability to lead in battle, it was also about his ability to inspire those around him. His victory in Jerusalem was not just a military triumph, but a triumph of the human spirit, a testament to what can be achieved when we refuse to give in to fear and choose instead to stand firm in the face of adversity. The legacy of Salahuddin is one of resilience and determination, a beacon of light in the face of darkness. His life serves as an inspiration, reminding us that even in the toughest of times, we can find the strength to persevere. So when you find yourself faced with challenges, remember Salahuddin. Remember his strength, his determination, and most importantly, his unwavering belief in the power of unity and perseverance. Salahuddin's victory showcases his determination, a testament to his strength during difficult times. How can one become unstoppable as Salahuddin did? Consider for a moment the life of Salahuddin. Amidst the trials and tribulations of his time, he found strength not only in his military prowess, but also in his commitment to lifelong learning and humility. These qualities were the underpinning of his leadership, the bedrock of his unwavering strength. Salahuddin was a student of life, a leader whose strength was amplified by his willingness to learn. He recognized that knowledge was not static, but rather an ever-flowing river, one that he continually dipped into. This commitment to continual learning was the key to his personal growth and leadership. It wasn't merely about acquiring new skills or understanding complex strategies. For Salahuddin, it was about gaining a deeper understanding of the world around him, the people he led and the cause he fought for. But Salahuddin's learning was not a solitary pursuit. He sought mentorship, understanding the value of learning from those who came before him, those who had wisdom to share. He knew the importance of listening, of being open to different perspectives, of absorbing lessons from a variety of sources. This openness, this willingness to listen, was a testament to his humility. Humility, however, is often misunderstood. It is not about being meek or submissive. Rather, it is about understanding one's place in the grand scheme of things, acknowledging one's limitations and being open to growth. Salahuddin embodied this form of humility. He was a powerful leader, yes, but he never let his power cloud his judgment or inflate his ego. He avoided arrogance, understanding that it was a barrier to learning and growth. Arrogance closes doors, builds walls and silences voices. Humility, on the other hand, opens doors, bridges gaps and encourages dialogue. Salahuddin understood this. He knew that to be an effective leader, he needed to be a humble learner first. Through continual learning and humility, Salahuddin became an unstoppable force. His story serves as a reminder of the power of lifelong learning, of the importance of humility in leadership, and of the strength that can be found in the pursuit of knowledge and understanding. What role did forgiveness play in Salahuddin's life and leadership? A question that leads us into the heart of Salahuddin's philosophy. Salahuddin, a name synonymous with strength and determination, was also a man of profound forgiveness. His leadership was not only defined by his military prowess, but also his deep-seated mercy, a virtue highly esteemed within the Islamic faith. 
Salahuddin's ability to forgive was not a sign of weakness. Rather, it exemplified his strength. He understood that to hold on to resentment was to drink poison and expect the other person to die. He demonstrated that forgiveness was not just about letting go of past wrongs, but also about cultivating an environment of peace and cooperation. His capacity for mercy was evident in his victory in Jerusalem, where instead of seeking revenge for past atrocities, he chose to forgive. This act of forgiveness was not just a personal choice, but an embodiment of the Islamic principle of mercy, which teaches that forgiveness is more virtuous than revenge. This commitment to forgiveness and mercy also extended to his personal life. Salahuddin believed in doing things for the sake of Allah, not for his own glory or gain. By aligning his actions with this divine mandate, he increased his chances of success. This is a powerful lesson for us all, illustrating that when we act out of a pure heart and with the right intentions, success is more likely to follow. But Salahuddin's forgiveness wasn't without discernment. He knew when to stand firm and when to extend the olive branch. This balance between strength and mercy, between justice and forgiveness, is what made Salahuddin a truly formidable leader. So what can we learn from Salahuddin's approach to forgiveness? We learn that forgiveness is a strength, not a weakness. We learn that mercy and justice can and should coexist. And we learn that doing things for the sake of Allah rather than for our own personal gain can increase our chances of success. Salahuddin's ability to forgive was key to his strength and success. His life is a testament to the power of forgiveness, a lesson that continues to echo down the centuries, inspiring us all. How did Salahuddin balance his faith and worldly life and defend Islam? In the whirlwind of life, Salahuddin found a serene center, his faith. Amidst the clamor of worldly desires, his faith served as his compass, guiding him through the tumultuous seas of life. He stood firm in the face of societal pressures, his faith unwavering. His life was a testament to the beautiful balance between worldly pursuits and spiritual fulfillment, a balance that is often elusive in our times. Salahuddin's life was more than just about survival and conquest. It was a journey of spiritual exploration and self-discovery. He took time to contemplate Allah's creation, to understand his position in the grand scheme of the universe. This contemplation was not an escape from worldly responsibilities, but a means to understand and fulfill them better. His faith was not just personal, but also communal. He was willing to defend Islam, even at the cost of his own life. This willingness was not born out of blind fervor but from a profound understanding of the faith and its principles. His strength of Iman or faith was evident in his commitment to defend Islam, not just through words, but through action. But Salahuddin's journey was not a solitary one. He had companions, fellow travelers on the path of faith. He was always grateful to them and to Allah for their companionship and support. He expressed this gratitude often, recognizing that his achievements were not solely his own, but the collective effort of a community united by faith. This balance between faith and worldly life, this willingness to defend his beliefs, this gratitude for his companions and Allah, these were the elements that formed the bedrock of Salahuddin's life. They were the guiding principles that led him through victories and defeats, through joys and sorrows. Salahuddin's faith was his guiding force, leading him to balance life and defend Islam at all costs. What role did unity play in Salahuddin's unstoppable success? Just as a single strand of thread can be easily snapped, but a rope woven from those threads is strong and unbreakable, so too was the unity of faith that Salahuddin fostered among his people. Salahuddin did not just see unity as a strategy for success, he saw it as a vital principle of Islam, a principle that brought people together under a shared cause and a common faith. Consider the monumental task of retaking Jerusalem. Salahuddin, fueled by his unwavering faith, led his people towards this goal. But it wasn't his leadership alone that achieved this feat. It was the faith-driven unity of his followers, their collective determination and their shared belief in the righteousness of their cause that led to their victory. Salahuddin understood that unity in faith was not about homogeneity, but about solidarity. He knew that strength came from unity, and that unity came from faith. It's like a beautiful, self-reinforcing cycle. 
Faith breeds unity, unity breeds strength, and strength breeds success. This cycle, once set in motion, becomes unstoppable. But unity in faith is not just about achieving goals or winning battles, it's about maintaining that unity in the face of trials and tribulations. It's about never giving up, even when the odds seem insurmountable. It's about standing together, shoulder to shoulder, in the face of adversity. It's about being ready to defend Islam at all costs, just as Salahuddin did. In the end, the unity in faith that Salahuddin fostered was not just about the victories he achieved. It was about the legacy he left behind. A legacy that continues to inspire millions around the world. A legacy that reminds us of the power of unity and the strength that comes from faith. So, let's take a page from Salahuddin's playbook. Let's foster unity in our communities. Let's strive to maintain that unity in the face of adversity. And let's remember that our strength comes from our unity, which comes from our faith in Islam. Through unity and faith, Salahuddin achieved unstoppable success.